Here we're going to show how Seeker is integrated into a continuous integration job that would normally be used in an Agile project. Firstly, let's take a look at some very common open source automation software that's used by development teams and testers to automatically test the functionality of a freshly built application. Selenium. Selenium scripts are kept up to date as the application is developed, so it makes sense to use this existing automation for security tests. Here we have Selenium already open and now we're going to open an existing test suite that the development team have created themselves. After clicking on open I can run the test. You'll see that the test runs very quickly. We'll play it back again and hopefully you'll see how Selenium is running through some business processes like funds transfer on this banking application. The process to capture the activity in Seeker is fully automated and here we've created a job in Hudson, an open source build server commonly found in continuous integration. The continuous integration process would normally be set up by the application team. Looking at the steps of the job we can see that the first step is to start the Seeker proxy. Then we run the Selenium automation that we just saw, there's a brief pause and we stop the proxy. The next step is to run the security test based on the capture that was just made and finally, if any are found, Seeker pushes security vulnerabilities as bugs into the bug tracker that the application teams are using themselves. We'll trigger a build now and once a job has started we'll look at the console output. The output is fast forwarded as it takes a few minutes to run. What we're seeing is a test running and then finally pushing exploitable vulnerabilities as bugs into the bug tracker. There are a number of vulnerabilities found and going back to the Hudson dashboard we can see our job has a cloudy icon as bugs were found in this run. Let's go now to the bug tracker and see the new bugs that Seeker has logged. Here I'm searching on security to find the bugs and sorting by date order. Clicking on the bugs that Seeker has pushed we can see the technical details about the vulnerability. Furthermore we can see the root cause of the vulnerability as we can see the source code where the vulnerability lies. Next we see the exploit information. And finally, Seeker shows what to do to fix the bug with remediation advice. Hopefully now we've seen how Seeker both integrates with Agile Automation and, due to its accuracy and clarity, creates a simple process for Agile Software Security.